Hello, my name is Mike Ward. I'm the Global Director of Content at Informa Pharma Intelligence's Insights um, uh, portfolio. That includes Script, Pink Sheet, and InVivo. We're here in Stockholm uh, attending the uh, Bio Europe Spring meeting where uh, companies, pharmaceutical companies, biotech companies, investors, and also uh, people who sort of serve those companies um, are all get together to sort of, you know, network and, and, and do deals. Um, I'm joined um, uh, today by uh, Dr. Remy Sula, who is the, uh, a co-founder and also director of business development and IP of Adosia, which is a, a public French uh, biotech company with a drug uh, delivery platform and I mean interestingly you guys are you're focused uh, at the moment in the in the diabetes space and of course everybody knows you know I mean diabetes and, and obesity are, are, are issues that are affecting um, you know, the markets but actually it looks like a really really competitive place so so what what is it that a dossier is doing that actually uh, you know people should take notice so uh, Adosia has developed uh, a proprietary uh, technology called BioChaperone, which enables, in fact, the reformulation and the improvement in the efficacy of already approved molecules. And as you said, what we focused on is the diabetes field and especially the reformulation of insulin, which has led, in fact, to a, a major partnership with uh, the company Eli Lilly. Uh, under the, for the reformulation of Insulin Risk Pro, uh, which is named Umalog on the market. It's a prandial insulin worth about $3 billion and uh, to make it ultra rapid. This is a rapid acting insulin analog and the objective was to make it ultra rapid in order to more closely mimic the physiological response. In fact, the, the, so that's just an example of uh, first the strategy of the company, develop innovation, out license it to a partner who will be able to develop it and commercialize it. But in fact, the, the, the platform is as wider application and uh, the principle behind it was really to be able to develop innovation that would be cost effective, that would be affordable for, for the larger numbers and as you know and as you said diabetes is affecting about 400 million people worldwide and naturally you, you cannot just develop a, a new innovation with a, with a premium for such markets because there's, there's a lot of constraints as we can hear it now in the, in the public domain. Yeah. So, um, so in a deal, so for example, you have the technology, so you've done a deal with uh, Eli Lilly where your technology uh, has been um, ad added to their existing molecule to make it, as you say, ultra, ultra rapid. How does that affect the economics? Did, of, of, the, uh, of that product, as far as Lily is concerned? Sure, the, I mean, uh, from, a, from a manufacturing standpoint, absolutely uh, marginally, yeah. because in fact, uh, BioChaperon has a very uh, small cost compared to the cost of insulin, so we are talking about cents on the final product, uh, on the cost of goods of the final product. Uh, naturally, uh, it also doesn't affect uh, the, the, the process in which you will manufacture the, the product because it's just an add-on in fact. The, the way BioChaperon behaves is by simple physical interaction with the molecule. So there's no chemical modification of the, of the original drug, which means that you just have to add it to the solution. The, the assembly between the, the insulin and the BioChaperon will be thermodynamically driven and leads in fact to, to uh, just a, a standard aqueous solution uh, of uh, the, the same drug. So is the bio chaperone, is, is it sort of uh, an, uh, a, a product that is, uh, well, it, it doesn't do anything, it's, it, it's inert? Exactly, exactly. So we are documenting, the, so we consider it as a novel excipient, right. it's inert, uh, so you, you document naturally the safety, no. but in fact by and that's why we named it after its function of chaperoning, covering the surface of the protein. So you slightly modify the physical chemical properties of the protein. In this case, you make it more uh, faster diffusing in the subcutaneous tissue in order to get uh, more rapidly in the bloodstream. And, and therefore, uh, the way naturally, in order to more closely mimic the way you would produce insulin after a meal, because 
basically, as you, as you might know, uh, when you are uh, an healthy uh, person, you are eating a meal and there's an immediate response from your pancreas yeah. to this glucose uh, uh, intake. And the problem is that with a subcute admin, subcutaneous administration of an insulin, there's a delay in terms of onset of action. And the point is really to be able to shorten this delay to more, clo to more closely mimic physiological response. So, so the Adossia business model, I mean, you, so you've done the deal with, with, with Lilly, where you've basically created, with, with your bio-chaperone technology, uh, this ultra-fast uh, insulin. Is this, is this a business model that you're going to do deals with other people and their protein drugs and, and use biochaperone? Or are you actually trying to create your own drugs and have therefore your own portfolio? At, at, the, at the moment, uh, no, uh, I think that the, the, at the moment for the company, the objective is to remain on its business model, which is to uh, file patents, uh, protect innovation, and then uh, license the rights on this patent to, uh, to a partner. Uh, I, we have in fact built a real center of expertise now uh, on the insulin formulation. Uh, we have in fact another product which is uh, called BioChapron Combo, which is a unique combination of uh, a prandial insulin, Lispo, and a basal insulin, Glargin, in a single solution. And so the objective is, like uh, some companies, to advance these products into the clinics in order to be able to establish the value of the product, what, does, what kind of medical benefit does it bring to the patient, in order to be able to naturally extract uh, the, the, the real economical value of this product uh, when we partner it with uh, a pharmaceutical company. And, uh, and also, as you know, the pharmaceutical companies are, are more and more uh, interested by late-stage assets. Uh, so our financial position, in fact, enables us to, to do so because as of uh, December uh, 2015, we had a cash position of 72 million euros. Uh, so we have financial means to ensure this uh, uh, clinical development of our proprietary molecule, the unpartnered project, in fact. Yeah. Okay, so, so the idea would be that you would actually develop your own portfolio of, of, of therapeutic drugs, or could you envisage that the idea would be then you'd still license those out to we would, uh, a yes. commercial partner? Yeah, exactly. We, we, we uh, intend to, because of this expertise uh, in R&D, we intend to remain upstream, in fact, and, uh, and, uh, and, and I mean, we, it's not our intention to become a real pharmaceutical company with, with sales sources and... Okay, so this, this, is, this is a partnering meeting. Yes. Okay, so you, you, you went public last year. You, as you say, you've got 72 million euros in the bank, so you're not actually in any desperate need to, to raise any money. So um, are you looking to find partners for your, uh, your, your technology where, they, where a partner would come with a protein and say, Hey, can you find a bio chaperone for this? Uh, what, 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 what's the plan? Yes, in fact, uh, as you said, uh, there's multiple uh, objectives in attending such a meeting. Uh, first, I guess, as a uh, player in the, in the pharmaceutical industry, uh, you have to be here, I would say, uh, just to uh, give you, your company some visibility. Uh, I think it's always a great opportunity to meet people. Uh, we, we strongly believe in serendipity and uh, that's usually where you can <laughs> have su such kind of uh, uh, unexpected moments where you can uh, create uh, opportunities. Uh, so, and naturally, yes, the, 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 the object, as you said, there's these twofold objectives of first letting uh, other companies know what we are doing, how we are advancing our programs, what kind of clinical results we have generated. Uh, since the last uh, meeting yeah. and also uh, be able to understand what are the needs of, uh, of uh, potential partners because uh, as I say as, as I said yes there's a, what we strongly believe in the fact that uh, there's always room for improvement in terms of protein formulation and uh, that's what we've seen with uh, the formulation of Lice Pro but this is also true for the formulation of Glargin. Okay, so, um, so so in conclusion, I mean, so, so what are the sort of the near-term you know, milestones that uh, that you, your brother, and your father are actually hoping the company's going to achieve? So, uh, the first uh, very important milestone is the, the development of the program that is partnered with Eli Lilly. Uh, we have already announced uh, uh, positive results for free clinical studies. 
uh, we are expecting uh, two additional studies that are currently running. And in fact, the, the, uh, the, 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 the chief of the diabetes division at Eli Lilly has uh, publicly announced that uh, he, uh, his intention was to launch phase three studies on such a program uh, before your end. So that's clearly uh, what we are aiming at. The second is to further develop the biochaperone combo. So uh, we, are, uh, we have planned two additional clinical studies on, on biochaperone combo to further demonstrate the medical value of the, of the program. Uh, and also uh, one program I've, I've not mentioned uh, is the uh, formulation of biochaperone with uh, PDGF, which is a platelet derived growth factor for the treatment of diabetic foot ulcer. Right. And uh, this is uh, in phase three. Uh, so we are expecting the phase three results of uh, before year end, in fact, in mid of the middle of this year. So there will be some uh, very important uh, catalysts for growth, we believe, and uh, it's going to be uh, an important year for Adosia. Great. Well, Remy, thanks very much for um, you know, stepping by. It's great. Thank you, Mike. Cheers.